Okay, yeah. Or probably fully random, I don't know. Anyway, the Chinese team here, I'm right now on the point of view of Mr. Ryo. So Mr. Ryo is, um, Mr. Ryo is playing now on this game. Yeah. You can see his... What is it, it is goths, goths and hidden sifts, so this should be the right one. Because of him, so uh, Chinese team went for Hans. What about the other? They went for Saracen. So this is something we've as uh, we've seen a couple of times, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Someone goes for Hans, and the other player goes for um, goes for Saracens. As I've heard many uh, many pro deathmatch players saying, Saracen should be the better sieve on this case. Uh, but it's uh, they just need to make sure they can hold for the first 15 minutes, where both goths and uh, Hans are so fast in getting population up of yeah. course and uh, as you can see here guys we have a goth against um against a goth from player three from green uh, green player here and on the other side then it's gonna be uh hunt versus uh, saracen so saracen is pretty much the slowest player uh, in this uh in this matchup uh, but then again he's the player with the most powerful army so if he manages to hold for, uh, for the first few minutes or um if the green player in this case manages to hold because it's going to be two versus one and then they, they, they're going to have the advantage here i reckon yeah uh, so uh, mr yo trying here inside a green player looks like he's going to be able to this villager is going to go down and um green player here mostly mostly with halves okay now he's switching to champions as well but the paladins from blue are there as well so this is um, a hard spot already uh, for the green player here he needs to try sneak his villagers around this place to make sure he can s keep building and uh, yeah 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 more and more paladins a uh, hard spot already here for green player chris yeah and he's going champions against paladins that is not ideal yeah, um, yeah, he's left with, with a problem, right? If he goes, uh, if he goes for halves to kill the Pelvins, he will be facing the Huskars. But if he goes for champions uh, yeah. to face the Huskars, he will have uh, Pelvins <laughs> of his nose. Anyway, Not camels, easy at all. Uh, a, few, a few camels coming in from Saracens to try and save the day. And uh, is it gonna be enough? Is it gonna be enough? That's the question. Uh, look at the population from Hans. Uh, really, really high already. Almost 100. Same thing with Yo and uh, the VNS team. And um, at this point, very, very low on population. Looks like the fight is pretty much taking place all over uh, on pl Green's player base, as you can see. And, uh, yep, Paladin trying to bring in more, 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 and more units. Uh, looks like Green is not doing too bad, to be honest. His population is even higher uh, than Yellow. And he has a few, uh, a few champions here in the back. And, yep, but that's how fast it can change. The Scorpions here from uh, Mr. Yo are going to be a pain uh, for Green player to try and defend for him. Hmm. Um, by the way, I think we should say the player in red because his nah, name so is driving right? me nuts. Yeah, it's just confusing. Um, yeah, so just just, just, just I, keep with, with the red player. <laughs> I'll just keep with the red player. All right. I need to go AFK for two minutes. Be right back. All right. All right. So anyway, um, looking a little bit uh, worse and worse for uh, for player three here for green players. Only one twenty population and Gr uh, Hunt is all over it. Same thing for Goth. And yeah, that's the problem. Looks like uh, Goth wasn't able to survive the first fifteen minutes of the game, which I hear from um, deathmatch experts are the most important ones. If you are going for a slower save as Saracen, for example, uh, as you can see, he's, um, yeah, he's pretty much no villagers left. I think this is only his only villager left at this point and um, yeah uh, really 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 hard here the Mamelukes are coming but uh, just uh, heavily outnumbered if you combine both the armies from uh, Mr. Yo and uh, from Paladin here taking a look at the populations look at this Mr. Yo almost on population limit uh, Paladin will not be far uh, away from that and uh, it's pretty much going to be two versus one for the rest of the whole game. Um, that's the question. Is Saracens that strong that it can hold versus two? Uh, that it can hold versus Hans and versus Goth together? Um, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I guess we will find out. Uh, I see here the Chinese team trying to set up the trade already. Nice job. Of course, the Vietnamese team can do no such thing as I pretty much believe um, player three, the green player, is out of villagers, if I'm not mistaken, at this point. So he cannot make any market uh, because he just doesn't have any villagers whatsoever. Um, Saracen's so bringing in the memo, it's bringing in uh, the siege onagers. Um, uh, he's still very low in population himself though only one uh, not even 100 population so I, I, I really don't think he's gonna be able to hold this for much longer um, 
It's gonna be pushed from both sides now. Uh, there's here Paladin also coming in from behind with the castle, and that's the GG call. Uh, rather fast game, 10 minutes game uh, here. So that's the 1 0 for the Chinese team on the on the deathmatch games. And I'll just uh, jump right into the next one. So now it's a 4. And uh, just to make sure I won't say anything wrong once again, let me check what the settings are. Um, the second game is... So the first game was Goth plus Hidden. Uh, and the second game is going to be Hans plus Team Random. So that means one player is going to pick Hans, his teammate is going to pick Team Random. Okay, we're ready to go. Is it set? Yes, it is. Recording number four. And let's go for the second deathmatch game between SYA and VNS. 1 0 for SYA at this point. And it's uh, Hans plus Mongols. Mongols was generated, so actually, very interesting matchup here between Hans and um, Mongols. The For the Chinese team, I'm right now on the point of view of Yo. He is the Mongols player, while uh, Paladin is gonna be the Hans, and we uh, we could see how good uh, Paladin is able to play with Hans. Paladin is gonna be facing the other Han player, that's um, yellow player here at the left side of the map, while the uh, Mongols are gonna be facing each other as well. So, interesting, interesting matchups here. Let's see which one of the Hunts player is going to be able to mass that army faster. And um, so far, obviously, very similar populations. Uh, already a lot of stables here for um, for blue player. He's probably also doing a few archery ranges here at the back. Yeah, there you go. Uh, one archery range so far. A few barracks as well to try and stop that early raid from the Hussar. Oh, looks, uh, looks like it's gonna be fine. Yeah, looks like blue is not gonna lose any villager. Yeah, looks like yellow also didn't lose any villager here. So both players uh, undisturbed start so far. Right now, on the point of view of Mr. Yo, he uh, chose to go for camels first and probably gonna delay those mango dice for a little longer. There you go, the first castle is gonna be made there. Second castle, third castle here is already making three of them while pumping in more and more camels. Uh, Thank you. Look at the start. Looks like Paladin is doing this a lot better than um, than Yellow player is. Look at this. Already over 10 population uh, for um, Paladin here, and uh, yeah, looks like Yellow is going to the wrong way with this Paladin. He needs to go back and try to defend from this little raid here from Blue, uh, which is now going to be outnumbered. So he's probably going to go back for a while. Or is he? Or is he? Yeah, there he goes, moving back is now blue player. And uh, maybe Mr. Yo coming in to help here. Uh, that's, yeah, that's what he's gonna do. Mr. Yo is gonna go with uh, Paladin together with blue player here together and try to um, kill these Paladins from um, yellow player. They could actually succeed. I see a few helps. I see a few cavalry archers right there. Yeah, I'm a green player choosing to go the, the wrong direction though. I think uh, his camels just got stuck there. He's probably gonna lose them, especially considering the yellow player already has Cavalry archers as well. Kind of unlucky. Kind of a lucky there play by the um, by by the by Mr. Yo here with his camels. Take a look at the populations. It's it's really crazy how Paladin is playing this uh, nicely. He's already double the population of the other Hans player. Uh, that's yellow here, a yellow player. So really, really nice play here by Paladin so far. Um, the Hans player seem to be pretty much similar to each other. Uh, sorry, the Mongols player. So Mr. Yo and yellow and red player seem to be ex uh, roughly the same numbers here. Coming in is Mr. Yogi from the left side, also camels from the red player, from Mongols of the VNS team, no big surprise there so far. Uh, more army coming in, oh, the first Mingo die coming in from red player, let's see if uh, Mr. Yo is doing the same. No, I don't think so, looks like uh, Mr. Yo is just sticking to camels for the time being. Um, this could be a bad fight here for Paladin, I reckon he's fighting uh, under too many castles at this point. He probably needs to go back a little bit, wait until he gets any decent siege. Yeah, uh, see siege uh, workshop already being made here at the right side. A castle as well, probably a trebuchet she's gonna be uh, gonna be created there. No, but yo, well, well he, did, he did kill loads of units there, are still facing too many though. He needs to go back for a little bit, I reckon. Nothing happened so far on the other sides. Um, 
more and more halves coming in as well. And uh, I do feel red. Yeah, red's probably coming from the wrong side. I'm not sure this is going to be a good raid because camels can die very, very fast under castle fire, and especially under hall of ears as well. And uh, that's just push now. That's the push now from yellow player here. Uh, he has siege ramps, not many, that's true, but he also has a lot of cavalry archers in here. Probably gonna take a few trebuchets as well very soon. And um, I do wonder where's Mr. Yo? Yeah, Mr. Yo a little bit low on numbers so far. A uh, red player seems to be helping a little bit more. Uh, taking a look at the population, looks like red player is not doing too uh, too great here. Uh, it's only on 50 populations, so it's under, under uh, green player's numbers as well. Paladin still still above yellow, but not so much as before. It's only uh, only 20, 20, uh, 20 population, roughly. And uh, he has a few trebuchets himself, trying to take this castle down, a few siege ramps as well. Uh, this fight is could be close, could be close. Looks like yellow is fighting alone here. He needs the help from a uh, red player, but red player not bringing a lot to the party. Only a few camels and a few elite mango dice. I'm not sure this is gonna be enough. Uh, looks like uh, the team communication is going better here for the Chinese team. Hello, Chris. Back. Hello, you're back, yeah. Ooh, and a lot of elite mango dice here from Mr. Yo now, so that's, um, it looks like that, that's gonna be, uh, really hard here for Yellow to keep, uh, keep his base safe for now, actually. Um, Red yeah. player doesn't, uh, seems to be strolling a little bit here. Honestly, I, I wonder why he pulls most of his army to the other side there. He was on the lowest pop in the game on like 70 or something. And then he sends like 30 or 40 army to the other side. Um, not a good move, if you yeah. ask me. Yeah, yeah, and uh, losing castles is here player 4, yellow player, he lost to already one. Uh, looks like he, he can't do too much for this uh, for this second one, since they are trebuchets firing, there are siege round incoming, yeah, looks like this castle is gonna fall as well. And you gotta think, um, why is red player so slow? Uh, he's only on 85 population, a lot behind uh, Mr. Yo here. And um, well, as expected, Paladin still very much ahead of uh, yellow player here, so that's... Uh, I keep calling yeah. him Paladin, that's blue player. Blue is Yingwa and uh, better known as Love Chang. Yeah, I, I keep, I, I keep um, uh, calling him Paladin for some yeah. reason. Sorry about it, that, it's, guys. It's <laughs> not easy to, to take them all apart. Yeah, yeah it's not easy to keep, uh, to keep, keep them track, apart. Yeah, um, to keep track of all these players, yeah. that's true. You know... The player in red is just lacking castles. Uh, he needs way more castles to keep up with the Mankudai production. One. Look at green, for example. Yeah, he's, uh, it looks like he has red castles, and uh, four castles, sorry. Anyway, let's take a look at a uh, small a little push here from Mr. Yo at the lower side of the map. Looks like he's trying to go into the trade of the VNH team, and he's open there. It uh, looks like he cut a little bit either with a Siege uh, Onager or mm -hmm. with a Trebuchet. Uh, he's gonna kill that castle. You gotta think he will take that castle down, uh, that Trebuchet is down, for example. And, um, yep, a red player does have more army. That's true, but he does not have any Trebuchets to stop that castle. So uh, looks like uh, VNS team could be in trouble here in the long run. Let's see if that. Mm -hmm. uh, it is the trade corner for them, right? Yeah, and that castle is if down. If they lose the trade, then yeah, they will have to set up short trade now. He's okay. building a market, but it's not not uh, not close enough to his other castles. This one market he's building right now does not help. Yeah, it will just Let's be destroyed just north. as fast, right? It uh, will destroy just as fast, I yeah. agree with you. Uh, looks like a few mango dice are north. here on the trade, yeah. Uh, looks like Reddit player was trying to send a few mango dice here to the trade. He's gonna be able to kill a mm -hmm. few a few trade cards, that's for sure. Let's see if... Uh, yeah, looks like uh, looks like blue, blue player just saw this on time, sending in Paladins and uh, sending, uh, sending in some Hussard as well. So they're probably gonna be fine. Yeah. Blue lost an important castle in the... Middle north, building another one now. Yeah, looks like um, Blue was doing a nice push there, uh, but once Mr. Yo had to leave uh, to try pu pushing mm. here into the trade, looks like uh, he wasn't able to hold that side on his own. Good thing yep. for him is a uh, yellow still um, yellow player is doing a lot of skirmishers, so uh, skirmishers are obviously um, easy easy food for this paladins. <laughs> Yeah, that castle for Mr. Um, Yo is down as well. I don't know why he's not pushing. He really can push there. He has a lot, a lot more army than Red does. He obviously cannot see this. Uh, he, he, he can't be sure how much army is there, but he could just uh, easily push and he would be able to kill all of that.
Looks like he's just trying to go around to snipe that trebuchet. Or maybe not. No, he's moving in somewhere. Uh, okay, looks like he's gonna try to help. He's gonna try to help blue player, uh, who seems to be a little bit in trouble here. He's mm. being pushed back by yellow player. Yep. yep. Yo and green is, um... Oh, he's killing a lot of yeah, gold looks miners. Like, yeah, look, look, looks like he does it. Look how fast this can happen. He just got like 20 villagers there without red player even yeah. noticing, right? It just, it just goes so fast. Ooh, Siege Onager coming in. Could be in. a nice shot. Could be a nice shot. No, it doesn't nope. hit him. It doesn't hit him. No, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. Easy. Yeah. Ni nice, nice job here. Uh, he's taking the hill to try and fight this uh, army here, but I think he needs to go back. Yeah, that's what he's doing. And, the meanwhile, and at the same time, Yo is sniping castles. And yeah, red. How many castles does he have? Three? There's four castles left now. Uh, looks like uh, both yeah. players were able to take a castle from each uh, from each other here. I think red mm -hmm. player lost a castle, but so did Yo there. Uh, but anyway, yeah. it looks like Blue is doing better once again. He was able to hold off that push from uh, from the yellow player, and he seems to uh, try. Uh, he seems to be nice in population on 180 uh, population already. So he's probably going to be uh, going to be able to, uh, to to hold this for a little for a little longer while waiting for Mr. Yo uh, to try and um, and um, sneak through. This south side of the map here. He has a few uh, ramps there, uh, the so called Ferraris, which can just go there in so fastly, so fast, and it's probably gonna be able to kill this castle with no problem whatsoever. Anyway, Red doing what he can to stop this push, and he has more, he does have here more Mango Dice. So, Mr. Yo, where are his other Mango Dice? Yeah, they're here. Uh, looks like he's losing a lot of Mango Dice here in the middle, though. There are Paladins there. He's been um, he's been running through many castles. So, uh, yeah, his army is um, it's not looking too good for Mr. Yo here. Looks like he's gonna lose this army. Anyway, Blue seems to be doing uh, better and better. He was able to put a castle down there and uh, seems to be pushing once more yellow here at the left side of the map. He's even putting another castle. Uh, once again, he's lacking the, the siege. He does need siege rams or trebuchets. He needs something to help him push here straight into the base of uh, player 4, of yellow player. Switching back to the other side once more, uh, Mr. Yo bringing in more and more uh, elite mango dice. Uh, let's take a look at the population. Yeah, he's ahead on population, so that's good by him. And it looks, yeah, it looks like he's only waiting here at the corner, but he's gonna lose the rest of his army. There you go. It's going down to the elite mango dice from red player as well. And let's take a look at this push from blue player. It looks like uh, he's doing really well. The population for yellow is very low now, only 140, and um, still missing, still missing the the still missing the siege though. I see three siege workshops. That's probably where the ramps are gonna start popping out, and it's probably going to be able to destroy these castles in no time mm. and this is looking mm, good this is looking good for the chinese team now yeah seoul is on military 18 and he was actually on nine just a few seconds ago so he has almost no army at the moment and you know how it is even an army of 20 fighting against an army of uh, 30 uh, that is always a loss a yeah. big loss Indeed, indeed. And uh, not looking good at all. It looks like Mr. Yo has just uh, claimed that corner for himself. Uh, he's destroying all the trade cards that come uh, in that direction. Red player does have a castle there, but um, I don't think it's gonna hang on for too long there. There is another castle here going up for Mr. Yo, who needs to take care. Yeah, nice job, Mr. Yo. Uh, seeing that uh, Siege Onager and he's able to save his, uh, his Mango Dice there. So very, very, very nice job here by Mr. Yo as well. And uh, yeah, this is where the pain begins for the VNS team. They will have no trade whatsoever now. Yeah, Blue doing a very nice push here as well with Siege Rams, with Pelovins, a lot of Siege Rams. And uh, a few Siege, uh, siege Onagers mm. are there from Green to try and help, so this is looking yeah. really good for the Chinese team now. Yeah, that is a really good call against um, Kev Archers and Halbs. Siege Onagers do so well. So let's see if Mr. Yo is going to be able to take down that castle. Uh, you would think he would be able to. Um, of course, Red trying to desperately repair that castle, but once the Rams start moving in, uh, that's where it's going to be really, really hard for him to keep that castle alive. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, 
looks so far. Uh, Mr. Yo chose. Oh, that's it. Honor That could be a nice shot here by Red Player. Uh, is he gonna take? No, uh, he wasn't able to take any decent shots onto uh, the onto the elite mango die there from Mr. Yo. So nice job here by Mr. Yo. Um, a whole lot of mango die from Red Player now. You gotta you gotta say he's almost at the pop limit. Uh, not missing a lot. He does have trebuchets as well. So probably probably is gonna be able to keep that castle alive. Uh, the problem is still yeah. yellow, though. Yellow is having a very hard yeah. time here. Blue siege rams are doing their work. There are a lot of military buildings down. I don't see Seoul building or Seoul uh, building new army buildings. Um, yeah. Yeah, he's down to 130 population. He still has a little bit of army. Um, but you gotta think that with the economy dying, uh, he won't be able to keep um, to keep repro um, producing army, right? Um, let's see if these mango dice from Red Player are gonna be enough to save Yellow from this first raid. Yeah, maybe they are, maybe they are. I, I don't see much army from Blue left there, to be honest. So probably uh, this is gonna be it for now. So probably gonna be safe for the next few minutes at least. On the other side, yeah, it looks like Red was able to do a nice job there. Uh, he uh, He's uh, now uh, pushing Yo back, to be honest. Uh, this castle is still very much alive. Mr. Yo doesn't have too many man mango dice left here. Uh, so, actually not looking too bad at this point. Looks like um, Yellow could be could be able to uh, recover there. We will see that in time. Uh, but Red is doing a very nice job here at the, lower, at the lower side of the map. He's even gonna kill this castle, looks like. And uh, Rams alone are not gonna be able to do anything thing for Mr. Yo here as Mingo Dai have that very strong attack bonus against siege units. 100, uh, yeah, this is uh, where the problem still is for the VNS team. 120 population for a uh, VNS, uh, for uh, player 4 here, for a uh, yellow player. And um, he's trying to hold as, for as good as he can, but yeah, it looks like they uh, kind of feel they don't have a chance to come back from this. And uh, that's yep. the GG called by VNS team, making this a 2-0. Uh, 2-0 zero. Zero, um, win for the... Um, for mm -hmm. the Chinese team. In the DM. Yep. Right? I'm now I'm now confused. The okay. Chinese won the first one, right? I'm now confused. Yes. Yeah, I think they won. So that's two zero. End point, right? End point for uh, the Chinese team.